Hi, welcome. In this video, we'll discuss another very important theorem related to concave function. So consider a function f, which is a concave function defined on set S. Now suppose we add a dimension to this function f and the dimension is added in such a way that it does not affect the value of this function f. So consider this new function h whose domain is s cross t and the codomain is real line and the value that this function h takes is according to this equality that hxy is equal to fx for every x then what can we say about this function h? This theorem says that h will be a concave function if f is a concave function. Let us first see this in graph and then we'll prove it. So consider the following function. So this is an illustration of a function whose domain is a real line and the codomain is also real line and the function looks like this. So this is f. Now what we are going to do is we are going to add another dimension to the domain and construct a new function h in this way. So we want to add this dimension in such a way that it does not affect the value of the function. So this can result in a graph like this. So as we can see this is another axis and we have a 3D plot here of this function and as can be seen that the function looks identical and we are generating a surface here as we are going to proceed in this way. So the graph here is a surface and as can be seen that this resulting function h appears to be concave and this is what we are going to prove that extending the domain in this way does not affect the concavity of the function. The function stays concave. So let us prove this. So in order to prove this we are going to pick arbitrary x y and x prime y prime and arbitrary lambda between 0 and 1. And then we are going to consider the value of h at the convex combination of x y and x prime y prime using this value lambda which is h of lambda x plus 1 minus lambda x prime comma lambda y plus 1 minus lambda y prime. By definition h x y is f x. So h of lambda x plus 1 minus lambda x prime comma lambda y 1 minus lambda y prime is equal to f of lambda x plus 1 minus lambda x prime. Now we are going to apply concavity of f to get this inequality which is f of lambda x plus 1 minus lambda x prime is greater than or equal to lambda fx plus 1 minus lambda fx prime. Again we are going to use the definition of h which is hxy is equal to fx to replace fx by hxy and fx prime by hx prime y prime to get this expression which is lambda hxy plus 1 minus lambda hx prime y prime. Therefore h of lambda x plus 1 minus lambda x prime comma lambda y plus 1 minus lambda y prime is greater than or equal to lambda hxy plus 1 minus lambda hx prime y prime. Therefore h is a concave function. So we have proved that if we are going to extend the domain of a concave function in this way then the function stays concave. This is a very useful theorem and we'll see how to use this theorem to identify concavity of many functions in the later videos. Thank you.